Hey friends, welcome to the weekly update here from the nursery, um, Creekside Nursery that is in Dallas, North Carolina. All right, so we're gonna stay in greenhouse number one today with the nursery tour because there are some flowers in here and we are super excited to show them to you. And also we wanna talk about um, a really exciting thing. I'm gonna go ahead and start with that and then we'll show you some flowers. So hang on for the flowers. Most of you know that on Saturday we were um, asked by Proven Winners to kind of man their flower booth at the Southern Spring Home and Garden Show in Charlotte. And so of course we did and we were super excited. It's always a really fun day to meet everybody and to talk to people and see all the new plant introductions and all their glory. This year was even a little bit extra special because they had aquapots there and not only did they have the aquapots but they had the creator of aquapots um, mr jack barnwell so he was there got to spend the whole day with him he's fantastic he's a scream um, if you have not already checked out our video that we did you can scroll through and look at that it's on all our social media platforms um, so jack actually explained what aquaparts are aquapots are how he came up with them and how they work so i wanted to give you just a quick little blurb here if you have no idea what aquapots are aquapots are self-watering containers so they are gorgeous ceramic glazed pots so very very high quality glazed pots that are a whole system that will self-water the plants so you only have to water them once a week. Jack said, go ahead and just set it on your calendar for whatever day works for you. Um, you know, set a reminder on your phone that that's the day you go and you check on your flowers and you fill them up. So I'm gonna send out more graphics tomorrow on um, all, the, all of our social media platforms, but this is basically how it works. So you have the ceramic pot, there is no hole in the bottom. It fills up with water by this little spout. You just stick your hose right there and it fills up the bottom. There is this disc that the soil and the plant sit on. And then there is the soil tube. You actually, when you plant your pot, you fill up this tube with soil. And then of course, fill in the rest of your pot with soil. Plant your plants as normal and then fill it up with water. So the soil wicks up the water and it's a very natural process for the plants. They feel like they're just in the ground in like the perfect growing conditions. So that's what these are. Now, they come in like a gazillion colors. So tomorrow I will, actually not tomorrow, it should be on there um, today. So look on through the feed and you will see all sorts of graphics and I will have pictures on there of the exact pots that we are gonna have here at the nursery the sizes and the prices, because for every finish of an aqua pot, there are um, four different sizes. So at the show, they had this techno white, which is a pure white, but it has the lines in it. There was actually four different sizes of that finish. We're gonna get six pallets. We were only gonna get slated to get three, and then after Saturday, we saw the response, and people were just going crazy over it, so Jack was able to go ahead and order us three more pallets right then and there. So super, super exciting. These will become on a first come first serve basis because quantities are limited. I don't tell you that to try to like, you know, as a sales tactic, it's just the truth. Once we sell out, we're sold out because um, these are made in Vietnam and being shipped over. So if you want one, you need to go ahead and pick out which one that you want, contact us and we're requiring 50% um, of the total price down so that you can reserve yours so more information to follow on that now let's get started on some flowers all right we'll toss that down if you've been around me for more than like two hot seconds in the summer and we're talking plants i will tell you about um, one of my absolute favorite plants and y'all she's blooming so this is the one of the very first ones that we planted up this season Vermillionaire. Vermillionaire. Vermillionaire is an annual from Proven Winners, also known as Kufia 
or a firecracker plant. Um, hummingbirds go crazy over these little tubular blooms. This is, this is as big as they get. They're not going to be a big, huge, showy bloom, but they are showy to your hummingbirds and they will do anything within their power to get to this plant to suck from that bloom. So you can see that it has a natural arching habit to it. It will continue just to branch out um, and just be, as it gets and grows longer, you'll have the flowers on that arch. You can already see some other little buds here. It does have to have at least six hours of sun. It does great in the landscape, containers, all sorts of things. Um, you could do a hanging basket, I suppose, with it, but it would be like a really tall hanging basket. But really landscape and containers is where it shines. Um, it's drought tolerant. Hummingbirds, I'm telling you, go crazy over this. Um, and we, we've got a, a ton of these guys. We have got a ton. Um, the new Diamond Snow. So Diamond Snow was at the show. This is the new introduction um, from PW in their Diamond Euphorbia line. That's actually the annuals of the year is the whole Diamond Euphorbia line. Diamond Snow, as you can tell, is a really tight and compact, more so than Diamond Frost. But it's going to be bigger than Diamond Delight from last year. So that is just putting on its blooms. Okay, so see, Diamond Snow, Diamond Mountain. Can you tell a difference? Diamond Mountain was specifically bred for the landscape. Put it in the landscape last year. Oh my word, that just went on and on and on. It just was massive, just pillows of white. So pretty. Sun Patience Red. If you're looking for a pop of red in your garden, these Sun Patience are great. Sun Patience can get nice and tall and big. They do like a lot of water, so if you have an area that kind of stays a little damp, these will do great. Um, so they're in all their beautiful red blooms right now. It's so exciting. Um, and then, of course, the Surefire Begonias are coming right along. This is the Surefire Red. Remember, the Surefires are great for the landscape and containers. can get to be about 12 to 24 inches tall. So we have red, and then back here in the corner, we have... Hi! <laughs> fun. <laughs> Jerry got some new equipment. It went haywire. <sighs> Technology. It's great when it works and when it doesn't work you want to go. Rrr! So anyway we're back now. Oh this is fun. Look at this. Strawberry drop coleus. So this is going to be like a trailing coleus. It has um, really kind of a, a lighter, um, not quite as bold of the color on it. A little bit of white pink and green super pretty um, this would be great in containers or if you want to like cover the ground that would be fantastic okay so we're going to reverse out of here the grasses are coming along all right here we are look at this if you were looking for a little pop of yellow in your garden your boxes your containers look at this it's bright lights double moon glow it's an osteopernum. Basically, it looks like a little sweet daisy. They are annuals. Everything I'm showing you today is annual. But look at that. Can you imagine this plant just nice and big and just covered? It's full sun to part sun. So um, you need to have at least four hours and it's gonna be kind of a shorter one, only eight to 12 inches tall. So that would be great in the front of the landscape or in containers. A bobulus, ooh, look at that, it's coming. There's a little tea tiny blue bloom. Ever so, well, it's a bud technically. <laughs> it's not a bloom. Look at that. They're coming. It's getting warm. So we've got the avobulus. See all the surefires? They're just coming. And then look at this. This is really exciting. So this is a new one for this year. It's a new, improved. This is a Biden. Let's see where this is connected to. I'll just let Jerry come in. So this is Goldilocks Rocks. If you're used to Biden's before, they were a, a lot of a smaller bloom. I grew these last year and they were massive. Remember PW gave us um, the new introductions and let us test them out. I was thoroughly impressed with this. Big, huge, fat blooms. 
um, just continue to bloom all season long be about 12 to 14 inches tall it is going to be full sun so if you have that full sun at least six hours um, and the pollinators love that one and we got tons of more of the millionaire okay so every time we do an update I show you lemon coral well good golly miss Molly the sucker's ready to go home right now if the weather would just cooperate so lemon coral she is happy and she is growing we love lemon coral it does amazing in the landscape in fact here because we're zone seven it's a tender perennial ones that we had in the landscape last year um, are still they're still there they're not thriving i mean because it is the first of march but they are there and once the warmer temperatures come they should bounce back so it is technically a perennial let me check my tag in zones seven to eleven so we are a 7B, so we're right on the border. We've had a really mild winter, so it's all good. So just a sea of lime green carpet over here. Happy, happy, happy. Here we have the pentas. We just got these pentas in last week, so um, they're kind of still recovering a little bit from the shipping. Um, but I just cannot wait till these guys get going. And then we have got coleus galore over here look at this it's like a sea of coleus so this is velveteen velveteen has those beautiful hot pink centers with a little bit of burgundy and lime green edges remember this is all color blaze series they will do sun or shade anything in between they are late bloomers if they bloom at all remember coleus we love it because it is gorgeous for foliage also with coleus it is very important I'll give you a little quick little tutorial here because this is something that we're constantly doing in the nursery so do you see where this coleus is growing it's got one like leader and it's just going straight up you see that just zoop, there it goes so the thing is with coleus is you want it to get nice and bushy and thick because you don't want just one stalk going up so what we do is we come in here where we have two little pieces two little leaves and I just do it with my thumb and you pinch it so this little piece we're just gonna toss it's done so now what's gonna happen is where we have these two sets of leaves we're gonna get a new stalk this way and we're gonna get a new stalk that way so it encourages your plant to get nice and thick and compact and bushy and fill out instead of just growing straight up so it's very simple to do when they're in the pots in the ground I'll do it really just when I kind of I notice it it may be once a week once we st start get going but really it's like once every two weeks or just when you notice it you always just kind of want to pinch it right above where there's two leaves and then it just gets thick and nice and full and some coleus tend to be more compact as opposed to some just kind of whoo like to be like a tree and grow up so then we've got the Sedona sunset here this is the orange red ridiculous freckles just all sorts of colors lime thyme apple brandy then we're getting into sweet potato vine land here so we've got two different kinds as far as the dark the different leaves so here you can see it's almost like a a very serrated kind of reminds you of like an oak leaf or a maple leaf and then we've got like the heart shaped so it's just depends on what texture do you want this is the jet black and the after midnight so they're always fun and then of course we have the lime also the true full of pink i don't see any blooms yet but look what i do see look at this oh i love these plants they're the best plants if you have got shade and you think you don't get to have blooms well let me introduce you to the Rockapulco Double Impatience. Now, I know this is a little tiny plant. Just calm, calm yourself down. By the time you get here to buy it, it'll be like mammoth and huge. But look at that sweet bloom. Imagine a big old plant covered in that sweet, delicate little bloom. So this is the Coral Reef. Um, it is a shade lover. They are annuals. It's a Double Impatience. So that's what it is as Jerry zooms in here. 
So we have them in the coral reef this year. We have them in, I think this is, oh, I'm wrong, this is rose. Sorry. Let's see if we can tell the difference between rose. Okay, here we go. Here's coral reef. See, it looks so similar and I wasn't looking at the tag. So this one's a little bit further along. So this is the coral reef. That's the rose. There is a difference. This has more of that kind of that tangerine look to it where this is just a pure hot pink. So lots of fun. They do need the shade. I had them in the landscape last year and they were great. They're a very um, low maintenance plant. They get nice and mounded. They work perfect in containers or the front of your shade garden. Really, really nice. Um, we've got over here, the portulaca is going. Let's see if anything else is blooming down here. We've got some um, hanging baskets that are trying to put on a little something something here. So these are all the mixed containers, mixed baskets from Proven Winners. So there are um, six plants in this hanging basket. So remember we talked about this a couple of weeks ago. I want you to start thinking of these hanging baskets that you get from us as temporary containers. Then when you get them to your house, you're either going to pot them up in a larger container or a larger hanging basket. Um, so it does great because these are, and the reason I say containers is because there are super bells in here, caliber coas, and caliber coas do not like to go in the ground because they don't like wet feet. Jerry was back there giving me like hand signals like for the ground, but I say no because of those caliber coas. For example, look at that. So this red one is the super bell red, just a pure red. And then you can see on the tag, all the other colors that are going to be in there. Tropical sunrise, the honey. This was a really popular recipe last year. People love that honey petunia, um, just such a unique color. So going back to hanging baskets. Um, ooh, yeah, look at that. You want to start thinking about these as temporary. Let's see if I can find one that I can reach. Now, I know there's not any flowers on this yet, but look at all, look how full that's getting. We don't grow wimpy baskets here at Creekside. We grow them nice and big and full. So when you get them, it's going to be draping down and it's going to be just mass of color. So there are petunias in here. You can tell the difference. Now there is a timing difference. These were planted the earliest and those were planted later, but just everybody is coming along so nicely. We really do encourage you to buy bigger, um, like the permanent, wrought iron oh here we go wrought iron baskets um that had like the cocoa liners in them that's what i do look at this holy smokes that's what it's called i love the holy series so this is holy smokes it is a super bell caliber coa again does great in a hanging basket you could take it out of here and put it in a container we do not recommend putting these in the ground we want you to succeed here and to grow and bloom and thrive as a gardener so we're going to tell you what to do and what not to do. And it's your job to listen. Guys, we want you to succeed and it's going to, we're going to give you great advice. Look at tropical sunrise. And it's only got a little bit of bloom, but look at this sweet little bloom. Again, it's coming. We did this post Facebook post on Monday and y'all really responded. You love this. Such a great color. It's one of our most popular hanging baskets. Um, Prince Tut's coming along, back here with more portulaca, lantana. These were just planted um, not too long ago, and they do love it hot, so they haven't really kicked it into gear yet, but they're going to get there. Um, but just a lot of fun things happening here at the nursery. Hope y'all are having a great day, having a great week. Uh, make sure you stay tuned for these weekly updates, because we're just going to keep doing them throughout the growing season to tell you new information that's happening here at the nursery, give you updates on all these great little plants as they grow and become happy, mature plants and ready to come home with you. People are asking, when can we get annuals? Our last frost date here is April the 15th. So we caution you. Um, last year, we started selling at the end of March. If weather permits and we don't have, you know, three feet of snow on the ground, we'll probably do that again. 
Um, just be aware if there's a late frost or freeze that you'll need to you know take care of your plants or you'll be coming back here and visiting us again and buying your plants for a second time which we don't mind but again we want you to grow bloom and thrive as a gardener so just kind of think in mind with the weather mid april you should be safe um, certain perennials shrubs of course can go in trees can go in um, lots of things are going on we're still doing tons of landscaping so we're here if you need us just shoot us a message and let us know how we can help you but hope you all having a great week and we'll talk to you later bye